So now we'll hand over to Olivier Aper for the. Yeah. <coughs> Subject of the scarcity of electricity. Uh, thank you to, uh, for leaving me the, the floor. I push. Yeah. Uh, security of supply of electricity is becoming a highly topi uh, topical issue. There's been, I remember that there's been major blackouts in uh, California in August 2020, or more recently in Texas in February uh, uh, 2021. And the European network has already been subject to strong tensions last year following a problem of interconnection between Austria and Germany. There were power cuts for several years in, mid, in London in mid-2019. And the European network was put under pressure uh, last January, on the 8th of January, following a technical incident in Croatia that split the European synchronous grid in two parts. And, uh, uh, wait, uh, and uh, RT, which, uh, which is the French TSO, had to take all the measures to manage the industrial demand response and issued even a recommendation to the final consumers to limit their uh, consumption. So, uh, a slide is missing. Oh, I, yeah, okay. What are the set challenges to ensure a security of supply? In fact, the power system has to balance supply and demand in real time everywhere uh, around the, uh, uh, the, the, the network, taking into account the fact that uh, electricity storage is difficult and very expensive, especially on large scale. The grid everywhere has been con uh, constructed with a top-down approach. Electricity is produced by large thermal or nuclear plants and delivered to the consumer through a high vol voltage uh, transport and distribution networks. And so this makes it possible to deal with the viable supply and demand over time, summer, winter, day, night. But the electric power system has been uh, changing, uh, um, uh, has been subject to considerable, to considerable changes over the last 20 years, following a major shift in policy, economics, and regulations. The electricity mix is developing fast with the move towards renewable energy, but Renewable energy is per nature intermittent and does not have the inertia of therm thermal and nuclear power stations. Fewer machines running in the system can generate a drop in frequency and voltage and lead to a significant supply demand imbalance. Another factor, important factor, is that grids are being decentralized with a sharp rise in self-consumption creating new balance issues in the grid at local level with the distribution system operators have to deal with. So just uh, this slide illustrates uh, the sustained growth of renewable energy in Europe. For the first time in Europe, uh, uh, renewable energy became the first source of electricity supply, and it was the case specifically in France, in Spain, and in UK. And despite the pandemia, the growth of renewable energy remained strong. Their market share is today over 38% compared to 34.6% in 2019. And the share of fossil fuel in the electricity mix went below 37%. So, important increase of uh, renewable energy, but uh, on the other side, the European electricity sector will experience a structural decline of the flexibility of the network. And this is due to uh, the growth of the market share of wind and solar, 
which are intermittent, as I said, and do not bring the inertia of uh, uh, the thermal power plant, which uh, uh, contribute to the stability of the grid. On the top of that, uh, the decommissioning of many dispatchable power plant will happen in the next few years. I just remind that next year, 22 gigawatts of thermal power plant, nuclear or coal, will be closed in, uh, in uh, Germany up to 2025. Six gigawatts of nuclear plant would be closed in Belgium and 21 gigawatts of coal power plants in, will be closed in France, UK, Spain and Italy. So the security of supply of the European electric system will be at, at risk in the next few, word, few years and we should not underestimate the risk of a blackout. Two years ago, the IEA highlighted this challenge. Wait. Yeah. Uh, everywhere in, uh, in, in the world in a context of increase everywhere of the share of electricity in the electricity mix. Uh, this slide represents uh, ho the holy uh, adjustment required in different regions due to the viability of demand and not dispatchable supply. For the time being, flexibility mechanism in Europe uh, can cope with uh, the need. Uh, yeah. Oop. Work. Uh, can cope with the need of the m most of the f uh, European countries. Uh, uh, thermal power plants and hydro representing the bulk of flexibility, but it will not be the case tomorrow. Yeah, that's it. Uh, next slide. So, I will go without the next slide. Uh, in fact, there are uh, uh, huge investments will be required to develop the flexibility of the electricity system. There are different solutions, but no silver bullet. Yeah, you can see the different solutions. Adjustment of conventional production has been deploy, employed since the green began, but as a basic response. Uh, interconnection are another solution for the flexibility. In Europe, uh, renewable energy fluctuation may be partly compensated by load balancing. This uh, need for interconnection exists between European countries, uh, but also within each country. Along with the high cost of high, high uh, tension lines, uh, local acceptance is an issue, and for example, in Germany, as a who uh, has a considerable need to connect wind turbines in the north to uh, the factories in the south of the country. But in 2019, it had only succeeded in setting up 36 kilometers of uh, high tension lines. Uh, another challenge is periods of cold and anticyclonic weather of, all over Europe. Storage technologies are ca characterized by different parameters, energy capacity, the charge and dis discharge time. The potential of uh, technologies are also at different maturity stage. For the storage of la large quantities over a long period, the obvious solution is pump energy transfer stations. However, there are limited development potentials. The lower cost of lithium-ion batteries make them a solution to compensate the fluctuation of renewable energy and maintain frequency. But their storage is limited at, uh, for uh, only a few hours. Several solutions are considered for long-term storage, but they are still very immature. The costs are very high and no business model exists for the time being, uh, give, uh, given that price signals on the market are too short-term and too partial to provide any incentive. Capacity mechanism aim at making up at least part of the lack of long-term signals. Demand response management has been developed at industrial level in Europe for many years, 
The potential could be increased, but that would require from the industry costly investment and adapting the design of industrial tool. It's what, what is called flexible design. Uh, on uh, domestic hot water tanks are the primary means of managing demand response, but it's, it's only for very short term. There are uh, other ways to uh, improve the uh, demand response uh, for the uh, final consumer. And uh, 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 the... Uh, the um, uh, Suppliers may uh, help to manage, uh, to control at a distance heating, heat pumps, and in the future, electric vehicle via what we call vehicle to grid. And this may increase the demand response from the final consumers. But on the top of that, it will be necessary to reconsider the regulation of electricity sector in order to provide adequate long-term price signal, which are essential to facilitate those investment in generation, in network, in storage, and in demand response. So, in a nutshell, in the context of a growing share of electricity in the energy mix, security of supply will become an increasing challenge, and to cope with this challenge, will require huge investment, both for the time being, there is no clear price signal to uh, develop these uh, investments.